everyone back from vacation, well rested uh, and uh, ready to go for the second half of the year. Uh, I was talking to an agent the other day, he was asking me how my vacation was going. And I said it was great, loved just uh, going on vacation, being with the family, uh, and really just catching up on some of the audio books that I have and, and regular books that I have. And he asked me what, what book I was currently reading. Uh, so I shared with him that I was rereading uh, this book called Fanatical Prospecting by Jeb Blunt. And uh, it's a great book. And it talked about one of the things that uh, I, it really stuck out to me that I took some notes on uh, was he talked about the seven mindsets of uh, fanatical prospectors. And if you think about it, in real estate or any sales career, uh, we're always out there looking for or the most successful agents that are out there are the ones that are actually making things happen, right? They're actually picking up the phone. Uh, they're making those phone calls. Uh, but they're very consistent about it. And he talked about the importance of having a goal, being very consistent, making sure that uh, you're doing those activities that are going to bring you in business, but do them on a consistent basis so that uh, you don't have the big ebbs and flows like a lot of real estate agents have. Uh, so I just want to share with you real quick. I'm not going to go into all detail on them, but I thought they were important enough to share with you here on this video. Uh, number one, being optimistic and enthusiastic. Uh, if you're not optimistic, if you don't have a positive attitude or a winning attitude, you're not gonna be successful in any sales organization. Uh, so I thought that was very important and just staying away from negative people. If people are negative or that doesn't work or uh, just push them away, give them away uh, because you're not gonna be successful hanging around with negative people uh, because you're not gonna be uh, positive, which is very important in sales. Uh, number two, uh, being competitive. You know, being wired to win, wanting, you know, to make that extra phone call, wanting to uh, maybe beat out someone that's uh, you're, you're working with, a colleague, or maybe it's someone uh, in your area, local market, or maybe it's on a national level, someone that you want to uh, compete against. Uh, but being very competitive is very important. That's why in, in sales, we find a lot of uh, uh, athletes that uh, in you know high school and in, in college careers and that type of stuff have been very successful in sales because they're very competitive. Uh, so he said that that's one of the mindsets that were very important. So that was number two, uh, competitive. Uh, number three, uh, being confident, being confident in your tonality, being confident on what you're um, talking about on the phone, uh, and just being confident and, and expecting to win uh, every time you pick up that phone call, expecting that yes, uh, but knowing that um, you can overcome that mental toughness uh, of taking rejection on the phone. Uh, so that was number three, being confident. Number four, uh, being relentless, being persistent, making sure that you continue to follow up, even if you uh, hear a no, because you know that every no is going to get you closer to a yes. Uh, so number four, being relentless. Uh, five, being thirsty for knowledge, right? Uh, coming on uh, webinars like this or, or videos like this, always continuing, uh, continuously learning uh, so that you're green and growing and not ripe and rotten, like I mentioned before. Uh, but making sure that you invest in yourself uh, by getting that education that you really need to be the best. So thirsty for knowledge and know how you could be the best um, on, on prospecting or lead generation. Uh, number six, systematic and efficient. Uh, really just protecting those golden hours, making sure that you time block, time block what you're doing, making sure that you protect it, making sure that nothing gets in the way. If you're going to set, you know, an hour for making phone calls, that's not answering texts, answering phone calls from your buddies. Uh, it's actually making those dials and having a number that you're going to go after. So very important, but being very efficient, having a list already uh, prepared, having the phone numbers ahead of time, and just having a really specific target audience. Uh, that you're going after. Uh, and then the last one on here, number seven, was being adaptive uh, and flexible. And what he talked about that is that, you know, you're going to be talking to different personalities on the phone. You're going to be talking to uh, different people and making sure that you can be adaptive that way. Uh, but also talking about just with technology and software, things change, you know, and uh, making sure that you have the right CRM systems in place and that you're using them effective, but that you're adaptive uh, and flexible is going to be very, very important. Uh, so those are the seven mindsets uh, of a fanatical, fanatical prospecting uh, and a prospector. And I thought I'd share those uh, tips with you. And hopefully uh, you found that information to be helpful. So check out his book. I'm sure you can find it online anywhere. Uh, the audio, audio uh, book is uh, on Audible is great as well. And uh, uh, that's it. Leave me a comment. Scroll down from wherever you're watching. Uh, and let's go get them this week.